fractions, decimals, and percentages. So a quick review, fraction, decimals, and percents or per percentage are all parts of a whole. So part siya ng buo. So they are also related and can be, can be converted back and forth. So when we say zero, yung kanyang fraction ay zero, yung kanyang decimal ay zero, at saka yung percentage niya ay zero percent. The next, one-fourth. So, kapag meron tayong fraction na one-fourth, that is equal or equivalent to 0 0.25 and decimal point and 25%. Kapag ka naman meron tayong one-half, that is 0 0.50 sa decimal and 50% sa percentage. Kapag ka three-fourth naman, that is uh, 0 0.75 or 0 0.75. That is 75%. And kapag ka one um Pareho yung decimal at saka fraction ng 1 and yung kanyang percent ay 100% or kaya buo. No, whole number na. Decimals are like fractions because they also represent parts of a whole. So, pareho siya, no? decimals, fraction, pareho sila nagre-represent ng isang parte ng kabuuan. However, decimals use the base 10. Meron siyang tens, no? hundreds. System by place value. Then the place is named by the farther, farthest right number. So ito yung tens. So mula doon sa tuldok or sa decimal place, yung unang digit dyan, hindi siya ones. Mag-uumpisa yun kapag ka decimal, mag-uumpisa yun sa tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and etc. 0 0.1 is said, to be 110. So, kaya kapag meron tayong 0 0.1, ibig sabihin that is equals to uh, 110. Because the farthest right number is in the, in the tenth place. Kung ano yung narating niya, no? So, 0 0.1 nasa tens niyan. So, 110 tenth yun. Okay, kapag ka naman 0 0.01, so that is hundreds naman. ba? Okay, ito. 0 0.17 is said to be 17 hundreds. Kasi, yung 7 ay nag-fall siya sa second digit or sa hundreds nung decimal places. How would you say 0 0.83? So, 83 hundreds. Okay? And how would you say 0 0.015? O, tatlo na, no? Nasa third digit na siya. So, this is thousands. That is 15 thousands. Mayroon THS doon sa dulo ng thousands, hundreds, and tens. Now, Converting decimal to fractions is easy because all we have to do is to read the decimal and it sounds the same as when we read the fraction. Halimbawa, uh, we read 0 0.3 as 3 tenths and which is 3 over 10. So, ganun lang siya. Um, pag binasa mo kasi siya, 0 0.3, 3 tenths yun, uh, pwede mo siyang isulat into fraction 3 over 10. Then, 0 0.41 is read 41 hundreds. Kung fraction naman, that is equals to 41 over 100. So, paano kapag 0 0.7? So, this is 7 hundreds or 7 over 100. Yung 13 hundreds naman ay 13 over 100. Yung 3, 10 ay, 3 tenths ay 3 over 10. At saka yung 107 thousands is 107 over 1000. So, fraction in base 10, yung denominator natin ay naka-base 10. So, pwede siyang 10, thousands, hundreds. And are easy because they are also read the same way as decimals. 3 over 10 is 3 tenths. 7 over 100 is 7 hundreds. Say it and write it. 9 tenths. Okay? 15 hundreds. Okay? If the fraction can has a denominator in base 10, hundreds, or thousand, etc., it works the same way. So, 7 over 100 is 0 0.07, both are read 7 hundredths. And if the fraction does not have a base 10 denominator, you must use long division until you get a repeating or terminating decimal. So, kapag ka nga sinabi natin repeating, nauulit yon. So, say for instance, 3.33333. At kapag ka naman terminating decimal, napuputol na siya. So, 3.5 or 3.75, that is terminating decimal. When dividing the fraction, it is important to make sure you have the right number in the house or inside the division symbol. So, halimbawa, meron tayong 3 over 5. Yung house natin ay, yung house basement natin ay yung 3. 
Okay? Kasi yung 5 na denominator, yun yung basement, yun yung nasa labas, at saka yung 3 ay nasa loob ng house. Yung parang ano, uh, division uh, symbol natin. Or divisor. Diba? And that is equals to 0 0.6 kasi magbabaro tayo ng 0. Idadagag natin sa whole number 3. So that is 3.0. And then i-divide natin siya sa 5. Ang lalabas ay 0 0.6. 0 0.6 or 6 times 5 is 30 or 3.0 and that is equals to 0 over 0. So meaning 3 divided by 5 is 0 0.6 or 3 fifth is equals to 0 0.6. Now, let's try a few. Convert 0 0.49 to a fraction. 49 hundredths. Madali lang kasi uh, yung 4 ay tenths, yung 9 ay hundredths. Convert 0 0.83 uh, 83 thousands to a fraction. So, that is 83 over 1,000. Convert 87, uh, 87 thousands to a decimal. So, in decimal naman ito. So, this is equals to 0 0.087. The last one, convert 38 to a decimal. 38 is equals to 3 divided by 8. So, hanapin nyo muna kasi hindi naman siya base 10. Okay? And that is equals to 0 0.375 Ganun lang siya kung paano tayo mag convert from fraction to decimal decimal to fraction These are called terminating decimals Yun nga, no? A terminating decimal ends Napuputol siya So 0 0.26 is a terminating decimal Repeating decimal naman mm, It repeats, no? Use a bar to show it the, uh, It repeats, halimbawa 0 0.33333333 Diretso pa yun kasi dot 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 And para maputol siya, you have to write 0 0.3 Meron siyang guhit, salong guhit doon sa taas 0 0.3 bar, bar line Yung 0 0.67676767677 dot 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 naman ay 0 0.67 bar line Dalawa yung nauulit kasi diba yung 67 So para silang pasok doon sa bar na nandyan, nandyan sa taas ng 67. So, warm up tayo. Convert 0 0.16 to a fraction. So, that is equals, um, gawin nyo na lang to. Tingnan nyo. Ito ay 16 hundreds. The second one is 3 tenths. At saka yung isa ay 5 eight. Yung 5 eight, you have to divide that. And you can, um, try solving this one. Kahit sa scratch lang. Now, converting numbers into percent naman tayo. When you have a fraction with a denominator in base 10, 10, hundreds, thousands, numbers can be easily converted into percent. The word percent literal, literally means per hundred. So, kaya nga, ang, ang percent, lagi natin sinasabi na total of 100%. So, 40 over 100 means you have 40 per hundred or 40%. How would you easily find what what percent is 7 over 10? Okay, so kapag 7 over 10, 10 that is equal to 70 over 100s or 70%. Lucky for us because decimals are all in base 10 and 0 0.72 means 72 per 100 or 72%. What happen if we have 0 0.85 or 0 0.851? So how many hundreds are there? Siyempre, 85. Okay, at meron siyang maiiwan na isa. Ilalagay mo na lang siya into decimal. The leftover is just a decimal and this would be equals to 85.1%. An easy rule for converting decimals to percent is simply move the decimal two places to the right. So, let's try some. Yung 0 0.82 natin, ipapasok lang natin siya ng dalawa to the right, yung uh, decimal place, and this would be equals to 82%. Yung 0 0.258 naman would be Mm -hmm. Dalawa, 25.8 kasi yung left over na 8 ay papasok siya as decimal. Yung 0 0.12 naman would be 1 to 1.2%. Okay? Percents to decimal and fraction. To convert a percent to a decimal, we do the reverse. Instead of moving the decimal two places to the right, we move it two places left and drop the percent sign. Okay? So, baliktad naman. Halimbawa, 56. Papunta naman tayo sa left. Okay, so 56.0% ayan, or 0 0.56 siya in decimal place. Ito naman, uh, additional, you can try this um, in your own. Convert 27% into decimal. So that is equals to 
0.27. Now convert 0.27 into a fraction, 27 hundredths. So closure, how do you convert a decimal to a fraction? Write it as it is read. So isulat mo lang siya kung paano natin siya binasa. How do you convert a fraction to a decimal? Uh, long divide tayo dyan. Okay? How do you convert a decimal to a percent? Move the decimal right two places. And how do you convert a percent to decimal? Move the decimal left two places. And that ends our second uh, lecture.